Hey everybody, Pastor Steven Anderson here from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. And this is the first in a series of short videos called Trinity Moments. And each of these videos will use one scripture to prove the Trinity or to debunk the false doctrine called modalism. Modalism is a damnable heresy that attacks the very nature of who God is, who Jesus Christ is, and in the end, it actually attacks the very divinity of our Lord Jesus Christ, his very deity. It's a wicked false doctrine, and it's mainly been limited to oneness Pentecostalism, but just recently it's starting to creep in to Baptist circles as well. So these videos are really important to nail down what we believe about the Trinity and that the Trinity is what the Bible clearly teaches. Now this is going to be a long series because there is just a lot of scripture to prove the Trinity from the Bible. And not only that, we're going to go through the proof texts that modalists would twist to try to tr teach their perverted doctrine. So I'm going to start out in this video with John chapter 5 verse 31. The Bible reads, If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. Verse 37. And the Father himself which hath sent me hath borne witness of me. You've neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. So right there, Jesus Christ says, If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. And so if you're going to believe in modalism, and say that Jesus sent himself, Jesus prayed to himself in the Garden of Gethsemane, and you're saying that he bore witness of himself because modalism is teaching that Jesus is God the Father, that they're both the same person, well, that would make Jesus a liar. That would actually invalidate everything that Jesus taught. It would make all of Christianity a lie because Jesus flat out said, if I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. So the only way... For Jesus Christ to be the truth and to be telling the truth would be if he's not bearing witness of himself, but if another bore witness of him, God the Father. If he was sent by God the Father and God the Father bore witness of him, then he's telling the truth. And of course, we know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So you can see how important this doctrine is to distinguish between God the Father and God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. They're two different persons. If they were the same person, then all of Christianity is a lie. Now, let me just make this really clear as we start this series. Jesus Christ is God. Okay, There's no question about the divinity of Jesus Christ. There are plenty of Bible verses that we could use to prove that the deity of Christ is scriptural, that Jesus is God. But he is not God the Father, Okay, because there's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. These three collectively make up one God, but they are three persons, one God. So don't let these people try to move the goalpost and say that uh, they're trying to affirm the deity of Christ. No, we all affirm the deity of Christ as Trinitarians, but rather they are teaching the bizarre view that Jesus is God the Father and that there are not three persons to the Godhead. Anyway, stick around for the rest of the videos because there are a lot more scriptures to prove this important doctrine.